Okay, we're taking a look at Final Cut Pro today and we look at what happens when the share operation has failed and what to do next. Version 10.5.2 is our latest version right now of Final Cut. And all we do is we have a little small project with uh, a few video files from different sources and we're going to export that with a compressor to a uh, to a compiled video. So in this corner up here we can see the progress of our export. There we have the background task window and then there we can flip open the sharing and then we see what is exporting right now. And depending on the speed of your computer you're going to see here this progress bar moving faster or slower. And then at one point you will notice that your percent display here on the right will get stuck. So it has a constant progress and all of a sudden it takes longer. And that's when you know there is something wrong and two minutes after that happens uh, you will have an error message pop up. So in this case I uh, speed forward this a little like fast forwarded it. So we get the pop up message in a second and uh, it's in the notification on the right. There you have the message. If you hover over it, you can click on details. And with the details, you get a specific warning message uh, what exactly went wrong. So in this case, it was the share operation that has failed with error 4, and it failed in frame number. And you see here the number on the screen. now. It's not in here anymore, but okay, so uh, it is a good practice because you have to memorize this number to do a screenshot of this. Let's do this really quick. If you do that, while you work on that, you can look up the number again without, you know, getting like a different frame. So it's a, a 2183 is our frame, right? Let's put this to the side. Now you need to find this frame. Uh, your uh, display down here shows you the minutes and seconds where this is, so you need to um, enter a frame number. Now this here doesn't work because then it goes to 23 seconds or whatever. So what you need to know is the actual frame number and that is you will find it. Final Cut Pro Preferences in the upper left corner of the computer there and then you have different tabs. Here the general tab will show you the time display. There you can select frames. So in that moment the display down here switches to frames. You can click on it now and enter that specific number. There we have it and now the cursor here jumps on the timeline to exactly that frame. Okay, let's do this again. That was back here. So I can tell you exactly what happened here. This is a very cheap camera. Uh, it's a USB microscope and there is a corrupted frame in this video. Right at the beginning of this, this camera tends to do that a lot. It's just too cheap. And then you have to decide. So there is like six, seven frames in this thing here that are uh, where this bad frame is in. And you just cut it out. If you can afford to lose that footage in that area, what I can, I mean, there's a little blurriness and uh, it's like irrelevant for my project, the first few frames. So I'm going to cut those out. I have the blade tool here with a push the B button and get into the blade tool. And then I take this A button and take that out. So now I basically lost that bad frame in my previous stuff here and then let's adjust at the end the soundtrack. Uh, there too is nothing happening at the end here. So again it, I can adjust that easy. And what we do now is we just restart this whole thing and uh, first of all we go back here to our original setting. Our minute seconds and frames there and then we just go to share and share this again and uh, 
then this time it will go through and work all the way. So we uh, have to replace now the broken file. There, replace that, and then it's going to render. In the upper left corner here on the display, we see our render progress. I'm going to see how fast that goes uh, all the way through to 100%. And if it does do that without any further error, the file should be fine. I thank you for watching, and maybe you join me for my next Final Cut Pro video, if I get to it. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, comment, whatever you do. Appreciate it.